Welcome back to my animal education series. So today I'm doing another tank build for my box turtle, Steve. Uh, you guys saw us previously do a tank for him and then for my turtle, Yertle, where we used the excavator clay to make a more durable hide for her which he has also since mostly destroyed, but that's a story for another day. So here we have a Zoomed Low Boy 50 gallon tank, and the turtles were previously in a 40 gallon breeder setup, which worked, but as these turtles grow and as they will continue to grow, I wanted to get them something that had a lot more space, and this one fits the exact footprint of the shelves I already have. This is four feet long, two feet wide, and one foot tall. So it's not as much vertical space, but since these turtles are terrestrial turtles and not aquatic turtles, they don't need a whole lot of depth. So this will be more than adequate for them until they're fully adult sized. Um, with the 40 gallon, with all the vertical space, it had a lot of unusable space for them. And I personally thought this was work a lot better for them. So I can't go too crazy with plants because of the one foot uh, difference here, but I have a water wall ready. I have his previous hide. What we're gonna try to do is use this cocoa fiber liner here and shove it behind the hide to see if we can plant some plants in there to have, um, I have a vine here that will hopefully grow over the hide and kind of help disguise it. I don't know how well it's gonna work with how destructive these box turtles are, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And we're gonna put a lot more substrate in here so that they can still dig and move it around as they want. There's one thing that I can point out in this other tank that uh, I already partially cleaned out you can see kind of the front or like the left side of the tank, he has pushed a lot of the dirt off. So he's kind of made the enclosure his own. And I know he'll do the same thing in here. So the more dirt I put, the more he can make it his own. So without any further ado, I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is Steve's old tank. Now that we have the tank side by side, you can really see the height difference in between them. But I have a bunch of old dirt in here. And every time I had a plants dying or leaves that would die off, I would just throw them here in the turtle tanks and as they would walk around and dig, they'd break them down and turn it further into dirt. And I already have a healthy colony of uh, springtails and isopods in here. So I'm just gonna transfer as much as this that is good or I deem usable back into this tank so we can already have a head start on isopods and springtails. And also get the natural decomposing of and the breaking down of the leaves and the dirt, other things like that, already go in here before I add anything new. So that, uh, waiting anymore, let's get this over with. I went ahead and scooped all of the old dirt from the tank into here. Actually all of it was good, it just looked a bit wet because I just watered the plants this morning. Because um, I did not think about tearing it apart today, so it made my job a little bit more difficult, but actually the wetter soil helped hold the hide in place. Uh, I'm gonna, so I can put the plant behind here and hopefully it all stays together. I'm going to put a lot more dirt over here, and obviously I need a whole lot more dirt over here, which is where this ProMix organic topsoil is going to come in that I got from Walmart. Uh, I make sure I get organic topsoil so that I'm not putting any harmful chemicals in with my animals, because that's not good. So what we're going to go ahead and do is break this all apart, because this one big heavy brick, and see how much dirt I will end up uh, putting in here before I put the plants in. And my main thing is I don't want too much dirt around the water bowl so that the turtles aren't constantly kicking the dirt into the water bowl. I might put some gravel there to help that a little bit, but last time I tried that, it still didn't work. And then I have to put a lot of dirt over here to hold this hide in place because if these turtles can get even a little bit behind this hide, they're going to push it out and flip it over. So I'm putting a lot of dirt in here and I'm just going to see what I need when I get there. I have my plants all set up here in front of me. I have two ivy plants, I have a variegated teardrop plant, and I have romaine lettuce. I want to try the romaine lettuce plants because I've never done it before, and hopefully he can self-feed off of this if the plants start doing well enough. And if not, I can always go buy more and drop it in there for him. But once I put these plants in, I will put more dirt in around them. Because I, I only added about a couple inches of dirt here, and I put a lot of dirt here, but it's really dry so it's not packed in enough. I only put in this, probably this big ivy plant behind there, since it's already uh, really established and hopefully it will grow up over this. And I might put the other one on the side, and I might put it somewhere else to add cover elsewhere. And I'll probably spread the romaine lettuce in various parts of the enclosure. 
and the teardrop, I will figure that out based on uh, where the lettuce is. One thing that I found is putting them in a place where the turtle either can't get to it, so back here with the ivy. Also keeping them in their pots so that when the turtle is digging, it doesn't destroy the root systems or uproot them. And one thing that I learned from this plant here, which is actually not going back in the tank, um, I had this in the 40 gallon, I had it on the very edge of the tank like this, but whenever the turtles walk in the perimeter of the tank, this kept knocking the plant over, which is why it's kind of bent and all dead looking, because it kept pushing the plant away from the plant lines. So what I ended up doing is I pushed the plant out to the middle, and the plant actually started doing better, but it was only there for about a month before this whole project happened, so I didn't have time to fully recover. But I'll put that in something else uh, temporarily. But I'm excited to get some plants in here, so I'm gonna get, go ahead and get started with this. Now I'm gonna plant this larger ivy behind the height here, and I'm probably gonna take this one out of the pot so it has a lot more room to grow and can expand its root system further. And within these brightly colored pots, they have these small ones. So I'll probably leave some of the other plants in the pots. I just wanna be careful not to tear their stems up. All right, there we go. Go ahead and break it up a little bit. I'm gonna shove it right in there. And then when I come back with more dirt, I will completely bury that. Take this other ivy plant. I think what I'm gonna do with this is plant it over here on the side. Family's bugging. All right. And I bought the lettuce as a bundle, so this is not going to be in a pot. So how well its success is going to be, I have no clue. But I'm just gonna be careful taking it out. I'm gonna plant one here. Because I don't know how well this lettuce is going to do in these tanks. So I'm gonna plant them in a variety of locations to see which ones do better. Um, a more full shade area or uh, even if it does better in the direct sunlight, maybe he will trample this one a lot more since it is in front of the hide. I'm going to put this one over here next to the other ivy. The front of the cage is going to be this side here and the water bowl is going to be here. And this is going to be the part that's going to be facing where I am most of the time. So when Steve decides to beg, he comes over to the water bowl and makes a bunch of noise. So trying to not plant stuff around the water bowl so he's not trampling it while he's trying to get my attention is going to be my number one goal. And also on the front here, whenever I'm doing feeding or water changes, he always runs to the front. So putting it right there in the front is probably not gonna be the best idea because he's just going to run it over. Let's just try another one right in the middle here. It's a lot more less than I honestly anticipated, but it's good to see. And the teardrop, I'm going to leave this one in its pot. And I'll put that in the front corner over here. And since that one is in a pot, I'm hoping that he doesn't destroy that one as quick. But only time will tell, and if he does destroy it, it will go down into the dirt, decompose, and help out the isopods and the springtails as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the water bowl back in after I rinse it off really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and put more dirt around all of the plants and kind of finish up that. And I'm going to leave this tank really kind of bland and open because these box turtles need a lot of space to roam around and walk and it's going to be really beneficial for them to have all of this space to walk around. I might end up putting some rocks in here, I have to go to the store and buy those. but. Eating off of a flat rock is really good for their nails and their beaks. It helps trim them down, uh, keep them groomed for a turtle. And what a, I think that's about it for right now. So let's go ahead and clean up this water bowl and put that in there. As you can see, we obviously have the tank on the shelf now, which let me tell you, that was a chore in and of itself. When I said that it was an exact fit, um, I never actually measured really anything. I just kind of eyeballed it 
um, and measured it with my phone as a rough estimate. So for a rough estimate with my phone, it does fit, but we had to take the other shelf unit off. We had to take the other tank down. We had to remove a bunch of the bracing and we had to tilt it really far and squeeze it to get in here, but it's in and it was not fun. And I don't look forward to doing that again, but now that we have the dirt here and we have everything put back after it was all kind of thrown about and we tilted it, uh, I'm going to put more dirt in. I took my sprayer and I sprayed a bunch of the dirt here to help pack that in a little bit and try to keep that hide in one place as much as I can. Now we have the cage all finished up. We have the lights on. We have the lid on, which the lid we also didn't calculate uh, all that well because we put the shelf um, around the tank and the lid doesn't slide out. So we just have it resting on there, which there's enough weight with all the lights that the turtle's not going to be able to uh, pick it up. And we still have a bit of a gap between the edge anyway, so it would be rather difficult for him to get out, if, even if he wanted to. But we went ahead and put more dirt around all of the plants. Uh, I will be getting more lights. I have um, an Amazon order on the way where I have full plant lights and UVB bulbs for this that would be better suited for this enclosure versus this UVB right here. Um, and as he walks around and kind of finds his favorite spots in the tank, I will move this UVB to wherever he ends up being. So it, it better helps him out. It's more beneficial for him. But I'm really happy with how this tank came out. It looks really good, at least in my opinion. And with the shelf unit hiding the size of the tank, it looks a lot more clean and it fits a lot better. So I can't wait till I get some more of these tanks. I already bought another one because... I bought one on impulse and then I later found out that my dad bought me the same tank for Christmas. So I have two. So I'm already looking forward to building the other one for Yertle right here. Because I understand I just made her that cave, but once I, especially when I saw how well this tank worked out for Steve and how much we can utilize the space, this is the way to go. And I want to do this for her as well and give her a lot more space to walk around because she is really active and will greatly benefit from all this space. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude this tank building. Uh, I still got a couple more things I might tinker with it a little bit, but whenever I do like a room update or something like that, uh, at whatever point I get to that, I can show you guys whatever I changed with it and how I better suit it for the turtle as time goes on. But thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.